Hello everybody. Today I am going to explain you the Azure Storage Redundancy Options. So in all there are 6 redundancy options but broadly they are classified into 2 categories primary region and secondary region. I will cover each of them one by one. So the first one under primary region is locally redundant storage. In case of locally redundant storage your data is written in one data center and there will be three copies of your data center. The benefit of this is your data will be protected against any rack failure or drive failures. However, the drawback is if in case there is a disaster struck, in case there is cooling failure or let's say some reason your complete data center is down, then all your data will not be available. This is the lowest level of redundancy option. LRS offers an availability of 99.119 percentage during an year. Okay, now under primary region, the next one is zone redundant storage. So in this case, instead of data being written within the same data center, it will be written across three data center. So if you have copy one in first data center, your copy two is in the second data center, your third copy is in the third center, but again, all the three copies are within same region. So let's say if your data was in Australia East, all three copies are in Australia East, but across three data centers. So with this, even in case there is a power failure or a cooling failure or networking issues in one data center, you are still protected. So zone redundant storage ZRS or ZRS offers you somewhat better availability of 99.129 over a given year. And now next is secondary region. So if you go back to the first page under primary, we had locally redundant and zone redundant. Now under secondary, we have geo redundant storage and geo zone redundant. So let's go to the geo redundant storage. In this case, this is very same, very similar as LRS in primary region. So your data is written three copies in the same data center, but also it copies over to the secondary region. So if your primary region is Australia East, the paired location, the secondary location would be Australia Southeast. So if in case, the data center, the primary location, Australia East fails. So your secondary location is miles away. It's more than two kilometers. I'm sorry, 200 kilometers away. So chances are your data will be much safer. The availability offered for this redundancy option is 99.69 over a given period of an year. Then the last option is geo redundant. This is somewhat similar to ZRS, ZRS. So your data is written three times across three data centers in one region. And then also it is copied to the secondary region in single data center. And that single data center would have three copies. So in all, you will be having six copies. This offers of 99.99, uh, I'm sorry, 99.69 uh, over a given period of year. So in this case, even if your region is down, in case your data center is down, in any case, you are protected. Then the secondary region options, GRS and GZRS, in both these cases, by default, your data can be read and written only to the primary location. So in case your primary location fails, you will have to go to Azure portal and you will have to switch the primary location of to the secondary one. You will have to fail it over. In a short moment, I'm going to show you in Azure portal. How is it done? So this was a default option. However, for these two options, if you like the secondary region, you can allow the read only access. So your primary region will continue to be read and write. Your secondary region can be read only. 
and again in case of gzrs your primary location can be read and write your secondary location could be uh, read access only so that's the difference between secondary region and uh, you have a tick mark if you tick that box it allows read only access so the url the path for the read access would be different now let's jump over to the azure portal and let me show it to you in the azure portal okay so we are in the azure portal i already have a storage account but before that let me take you to the create storage option okay so let's scroll down it's asking me for the subscription name resource group okay so here if you see redundancy options so i see four of those two of those the first and the third one are in the primary region so this is the first one this is the second one and if you notice if i select geo redundant there is a tick mark here if i leave it untick your primary region will be the only region will which will be which will be providing read access and write access and if you tick this your secondary region becomes a read only access the same goes with the fourth option you can select this or you can deselect this now let me show these settings for an existing account so this is my storage account so as you as you can notice this is read access geo redundant storage so if i scroll down i go to the settings of geo replication what i see is my primary location is east us and my secondary location is west us so if i would have chosen if i would have unticked the read access option then only the primary region would be read and write but since i have chosen read access geo redundant storage option my secondary would be read and the primary would be read and write and let's say if i want to switch it over let's say my first data center my first region is down so in that case i'll have to come to this page and i will have to manually fill it over from primary to secondary and the list of paired region that also let me explain it to you so there is a document from microsoft that will give you the list of regional pairs so let's say if you have the primary region as east us its secondary location would be west us so let's look for uk if your primary region is uk west the secondary region would be uk south so they are miles apart okay so there is another document from microsoft this is also a very helpful document you can go through this document the links to both these documents i'm going to put it in the description section below so hope i have cleared the hope i have cleared all the questions about the different redundant options so if you have any questions feel free to comment in the section below and if you found this video useful please like my video and subscribe to my channel for more such videos thank you so much for watching